Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Well, in case you notice, I just chopped, chopped my hair this weekend. I wasn't feeling myself and I felt like I was hiding behind my hair. And I started thinking about the connection between self-image, self-esteem and hair. And also the connection of our self-esteem to our stress levels and ultimately our gut health. And I was curious, you know, why I was feeling off the last several weeks, actually months, to be honest. Um, and it's been a really tough time. It's hard being an entrepreneur some days and a founder of, of a business, and especially in today's climate. It's not easy. There are great days when there are amazing highs, when I get emails from patients saying that uh, one of the podcast episodes helped them get to the right doctor and diagnosis. There are lows when you're trying to um, keep uh, afloat, you know, trying to, uh, you know, stay relevant. And it's a lot of noise out there. Um, it's not easy. And I was, you know, I take things very personally um, and I always want to do better. But, you know, it's just funny. I just... I've been wanting to cut my hair for a while, but you know, like all women, like who's the right person to cut my hair? I have that crazy Italian big hair and if it's not cut right, it just looks like a complete disaster. But anyway, I finally took the plunge and I feel so much more, I feel lighter, I feel like myself and I feel like ready to take on the world. But more importantly, it's not about my hair. It, it's, I wanted to you know, give you a heads up on some episodes that I was thinking um, and having some guest experts on the connection between our self-esteem, self-image, and our gut health. And um, I think that's a really interesting topic to explore, especially for those of us who may be living with a chronic GI condition that we may not feel good every day. We may, you know, not want to go out of the house, but I, I really am interested in exploring this and looking at the evidence. I, I, I saw some initial studies that have explored this and there are connections, but I want to delve into it a little more. But anyway, I hope you have a great Sunday. Do something good for yourself. Be kind to yourself and have a great day. Talk to you soon.